So since I uploaded the internal uh, antenna modification to the uh, netbook a couple of months ago, I get a lot of emails from people asking me um, how they can uh, upgrade theirs. Now, I've got a few of these left over from uh, that last project that I did with the BT Home Hub. So uh, I thought I'd give it a go with a different laptop. Now, this netbook, I've had this lying around for quite some time in my workshop. It's uh, mainly due because it's uh, at its end of life. It's a really slow Atom processor. But uh, when you have a look at the design of this uh, netbook, it's got these hinges here, and there is actually nothing inside that. It's just uh, for a uh, cosmetic purpose. That's all it is. But um, it's a similar diameter to uh, one of these SMA connectors. So what I thought I could do is put SMA connectors on either side of the hinges and have dipole antennas coming out the sides and then what I could do is put Reva on this little netbook and I'll have myself a uh, little penetration testing um, laptop that I could take out in the field with me. Now I have come across a image on uh, the internet where somebody has done uh, something very similar I'm not sure what make of laptop it was I don't think it's the same one but again they had uh, one of these coming out out at the side I think it was either out the side here or in the side of the case itself but uh, what I'm hoping is these are going to be long enough to connect up to the Wi-Fi card and uh, trace it up probably through the same channel that the uh, coax runs up to the top of the uh, lid itself but having it come out of the side here um, through that hinge I think it would look uh, rather cool especially when you've got your two dipoles sticking out the side so looking at uh, the amount of space that we've got to play with here um, we definitely will not be able to panel mount this as it's designed to do with the nut on the inside of here but uh, we can definitely drill a uh, hole to fit the cable through and thread it in and actually glue it onto the side there's uh, more than enough space to actually run the cable from out of here down into the laptop itself without uh, coming into contact with that hinge. So now that we've actually got the uh, lid off uh, the laptop, we can see that uh, there's definitely enough room to actually run cables down this side and have the SMA connector coming out of uh, that side of the hinge. But uh, these that I've uh, purchased for the last project that I did, uh, for this side is a little bit too short so what I'm actually going to do is make up my own and then uh, I can run the cable all along here underneath the uh, main part of the board to uh, connect to the uh, actual Wi-Fi card that's over here. So I've decided that uh, to make this fit a lot neater I would have to put some kind of spacer on here just to bring it out a little bit, some kind of tubing and uh, I was looking around for what to use and I come across these um, speaker headphone uh, adapter jacks and uh, what I'm going to do is actually cut these down around here and they're already gold so I don't have to paint anything and I can have them as a spacer so that will sit a lot better coming out of the side. Yes it will stick out the side a little bit more but it means I've got that space where I'm not having to do such a sharp bend on this coax or modify this um, SMA connector in any way so I'm going to cut these down with a Dremel and then we'll have that coming out of the side. So I've cut the end off that jack plug and this is what I'm left with and I feed the antenna through and it just clicks in nicely don't need to put any glue on or anything else so now we can attach that to the uh, notebook and we don't have to modify the SMA connector and it's not going to catch on anything. So I'm ready to epoxy this into place and what I've done I've just got a craft knife and got rid of that lip that was there that held this uh, in place so it's now nice and smooth and flat so a little bit of epoxy on there and leave it for about 15 minutes and we should be good to go. So I lifted out the motherboard so I could uh, run the coax on the left hand side here underneath the motherboard and this coax follows virtually the same path as the original but uh, look at the length of these uh, two uh, lines of coax. I've uh, been so lucky, there's no room to actually play with there whatsoever and that doesn't happen very often when you are modifying things like this. So here is the laptop back together again with its uh, two dipole antennas on the side and I think it looks uh, 
rather cool but uh, one thing I would have liked to have changed is use some shorter bulkhead connectors there for the uh, antennas so they don't stick out quite as much but uh, other than that I've uh, modified this on the fly I didn't do any thinking about it beforehand I just saw it lying around the workshop and I thought I'll give it a go so I'm just installing Reva to the hard drive now and then uh, I can get on with uh, testing it to crack some Wi-Fi passwords so hope you enjoyed that little video and if you did as always please uh, give it a big thumbs up and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one